The use of toxic chemicals are needed to control muscles, but that may be changing. See this? This mixture represents the first environmentally safe option for zebra and quagga muscle control in North America, and our lab discovered it. At the end of this narrow road in upstate New York are a series of white buildings in the middle of the woods. Inside, some of the world's most important research is being done to find ways to control zebra and quagga mussel populations. This is the research department of the New York State Museum, or as research scientist Dan Malloy likes to call it, the little lab in the woods. After 20 years of painstaking research, his team of scientists have discovered a bacterium that's deadly to quagga and zebra mussels, but apparently harmless to the rest of the environment. We looked at little microbes in the environment, which, by serendipity, if they're eaten by the pest, will kill the pest. That was the early 90s. A commercial company in California is marketing the green formula under the name Zequinox. So it's got an excellent environmental track record from our lab data. And now it's time to try it as in the real world to actually control zebra and quagga mussels, not just little lab studies.